This is a bandsaw instruction video by John Ferris and Justin Parson. First priority is safety. Ensure safety glasses are on before entering the PET slash PCE lab. Also make sure your badge is visible at all times while in the PET lab. From the door, the bandsaw is located on the right hand side or the south wall of the lab. This is the bandsaw that we will demonstrate how to use properly. This saw is used only for plastics and wood. Ear protection is required when using the bandsaw. Next, ensure ventilation systems for the lab is turned on. Turn the dial past 10 and set a time. Before you begin cutting, make sure there is someone in the lab with you in case of an emergency. Also, be aware of the two emergency stop buttons, one located by the vacuum switch and the other by the bandsaw on the south wall. The guard of the bandsaw needs to be adjusted before cutting can begin. It should be roughly half an inch above its highest point. The switch for the bandsaw is located on the left side of the machine. Line up the blade with the point of cut of the piece. Slowly guide the piece along, keeping hands clear of the blade. Push the piece from either end. The three tooth rule should be followed where three teeth of the blade should be touching the width of the piece at all times. If this is not possible due to the thinness of the piece, ensure that a slow feed rate is used. After turning off the machine, wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before leaving. Then grab a brush and begin cleaning off your workstation. Once your workstation is clean, go to the north wall and grab a large broom and start cleaning the surrounding floor of the bandsaw. Remove the wooden cover to allow access to the vent and start sweeping the wood or plastic dust particles into the ventilation system. Remove any large pieces of plastic and throw them away. Replace the wooden covering to ensure the vent is secure. Dispose of any unused unnecessary plastic, but if a piece of plastic might be reused, it can be placed back in the PET Lab's plastic bin located at the front entrance. After that is complete, return ear protection along with any other instruments used during your project. Be respectful of the PET Tooling Lab's rules and clean up after yourself. 